In this video today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to disassemble a PS3 Slim. There's three models of the PS3 Slim, uh, but they're all very similar. There's a CUH 2000 series, 2500 series, and 3000 series. And I'm gonna be showing you guys how to disassemble those today. Like I said, some of them are slightly different. This one right here is a CECH 3000 model, 3001A as they're known in the United States and Canada. This was the last generation of PS3 Slim that Sony ever released. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how to disassemble this down to the motherboard and then reassembling it back again. We sell all PS3 Slim parts, so if there's anything that you need to replace, please check the links in the description box. You're also gonna need our FastTech Pro Toolkit, which not only lets you disassemble this PS3, but your PS4, PS5 as well, and all other kinds of electronics. Let's get started. I'm gonna flip the console over. There's gonna be these tabs that hide Phillips screws underneath. So we're gonna remove these tabs by lifting them out like so. Some of them are rubber, some of them are just plastic. All right, once we remove the tabs, we're gonna remove the Phillips screws. Once we remove the Phillips screws, we're gonna remove the Torx T8H screws. It's a specialty T8, not a regular T8, which we include in our FastTech Pro Toolkit. All right, now we're gonna remove the top cover like so, you should just be able to lift it off like that. Now we're gonna remove these two connectors that hold the power supply in. One of them has a clip that we're gonna push and then pull out. And the other one, we can just lift out like that. Then we're gonna remove the two screws that hold the power supply in. There's one here and then there's one here. the power supply out it should come out like that now we're going to remove the screw that holds the disk drive in once we got that out of the way we're going to remove these cables by lifting them out once you remove those cables you can lift out the disk drive but only slightly and you're going to see that there is a ribbon cable that's still attached right and it has a clip so we're gonna stick our finger in there lift the clip from both sides and then that cable is gonna come out this is gonna be a very hard cable for some people to remove and even more hard to get back in we're gonna get the disk drive out of the way now we're gonna remove the power button in the front it's clipped in there's a ribbon cable in the front we're gonna lift it out you can remove the hard drive at this point by lifting this panel here. And there's gonna be a blue screw. We're gonna remove that screw. We're gonna slide this panel to the right. And then we're gonna lift the hard drive out like that. Now, we're gonna remove all these Phillips screws. They're black in color. We're gonna remove them to get the motherboard out of the system. connector by lifting it out. I'm gonna lift the antenna cables like that. We're gonna get the antenna out of the way. And now it's gonna lift out like so. All right, now we've got the motherboard assembly out of the case. I'm gonna put the case on the side. This is our motherboard assembly here. We're gonna flip it over. And now we're gonna remove 
all the screws on the back side. should come off like that you can lift it up from the usb yeah, on this one it came off easy but uh if it's a system that's seen a lot of heat the thermal paste might be sticking and might make the board stick to the heat sink but in this case luckily it's not so we're going to remove the motherboard and now we're down to the motherboard of the system all right so now we fully disassembled the ps3 and when you do that uh, especially on a console this old, but generally speaking, whenever you separate a motherboard from a heatsink, you want to replace the thermal paste. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to replace the thermal paste and uh, we're going to put this thing back together. All right, I've cleaned off the old thermal paste and now you can see the cell processor and the infamous NVIDIA RSX chip. This was the last generation of consoles when uh, the CPU and GPU were two different dedicated chips. Now it's all in one chip, uh, which is known as the APU. Now we're gonna apply Arctic Silver 5 on our motherboard. All right, so now we're gonna apply Arctic Silver 5 thermal paste on our CPU and GPU chip. We sell this on our website. Link's gonna be in the description box. So because this is uh, the cover for the CPU and uh, uh, GPU heatsink. The actual chip is very small and it's underneath these plates. So we're gonna need a lot of surface area compared to how much we normally put. Um, if you've been watching my PS3 videos, that's a very small size die. But uh, this right here is a bigger surface area that we're gonna need to cover. So we're gonna put about that much and then we're gonna spread this around evenly. We can use uh, the pick or the pry tool that's included in our Fast Tech toolkit. And we're gonna spread this paste around. All right, we're gonna make sure we get all of the area of the heat plate. Again, this is not the actual surface of the die, the actual CPU and GPU dies are a lot smaller and they're underneath this plate. All right, looks like we got all the surface area covered. All right, now we can start installing the motherboard back into the heatsink and fan assembly like that. The back goes first. You're gonna wanna make sure these pins go through. And then install this back plate. Put the screws in. Now we're going to install the screws for the heat sink. We're gonna tighten them diagonally and you don't wanna tighten one all the way and then tighten the other one. You wanna tighten one a little bit and then tighten the one right across and then back and forth like that. Because if you tighten one side and you don't tighten the other, then you could bend your chip, which you don't wanna do. And you wanna get them tight all the way, but not too tight. All right, now we're gonna install this back into the case. So the back goes in first, like that. And then the front slides in. 
And now we're gonna install all the screws back in. Now we're gonna install the antennas back on. Install the power button in. We're going to install the cable. Install the disk drive ribbon cable in. We're going to line it up as best as we can. And then when it's in evenly like it is now, we're going to push the connector from each side. I'm going to push the connector down. Like that, we're gonna install these ribbon cables, which should be super easy. Line them up and push them in. We're gonna install the screw that holds the disc drive in place. Now we're gonna connect power supply cable that I removed. I'm gonna put the power supply in. Install the screws that hold the power supply in. Connect the two connectors. For the power supply, there's one on each side. This is the AC in and that's the DC out. We're gonna reinstall the hard drive in. I'm gonna put the hard drive back in. Like that, this side goes down and in. We're gonna install the hard drive cover back on. Then we're gonna install the Phillips screw that holds it all in place. Now we're gonna install the case. The front goes in first. There's teeth in the front and those go on first. And then you're gonna to wanna to pivot the whole thing back on. And then everything should sit flush. The case should be flat, no bumps or gaps like that. And now we're gonna put all the screws back in. T8H security screws in. Now we're gonna install the covers for the screws. I'm gonna put on our FastTech service warranty sticker. All service that we perform comes with at least a six months warranty, which is upgradable to three years. And that's it, we're done. If you need any of the parts and tools that we used in this job, including the power supply or uh, our FastTech Pro Toolkit, uh, which you can use to disassemble not just this PS3, but all other kinds of electronics, do check us out at our website at fasttechstore.com or fasttech.ca, and you can use the coupon code YouTube for a discount. Like the video if you like it, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll catch you in the next one.